What's up, chat? What's up, YouTube? This is Nita Podcast, episode 104. A lot of things to talk about. A lot of things to talk about. We are in the middle of the MCS, this club series. We might jump into some mid-games, mid-podcast, something like that. It's, going, it's a little unpredictable tonight, what we're doing. And we started a podcast with talking about, are you picking sweet potato pie or pumpkin pie? YouTube, comment below. Sweet potato pie or pumpkin pie? And I'll be honest. The poll on Twitch right now is about split. Uh, we got 46 votes for pumpkin pie and 40 for sweet potato pie. Uh, this is coming down to a barn burner. It really is, man. And if you guys want to watch these podcasts live, twitch.tv slash dub dot. You guys can check out all the action if you tune in on Tuesdays, 8 p.m. Now that we're in the middle of Club Series, things are wild. Things are uh, all over the place. Uh, honestly, we're having a good time. And at the end of the day, boys... That is what it's about. Having a good time. Uh, as you see, we only have one topic tonight, man. There's a lot of things we could talk about. And we'll see where the show goes. But uh, for the last week or so, you know, I got popped in Clip Series. Honestly, I'm not talking about that shit. Normally, I would talk about it. I'm not talking about it. It's not happening. It's not happening. Pie might be over cake. That might be another thing. It looks like pumpkin pies want to take the vote right here. I'm not talking about my club series. If you missed it, you missed it. This is my show. We choose what we want to talk about. Check in the chat below. You guys see the Twitch chat right here. All the psychos, all the lunatics that are here every single night, especially on Tuesdays. Uh, so, yes, Chaos has been in live events. One that I remember, yes. But, like I said, um... Yeah, so you'll be here every single Tuesday. So, today we're going to talk about Franchise GG. Um, I have to give you a little background story. After my streams, after my production, which is the best, um, I do try to play Madden offline. I've been playing my buddy Vilma, who I've known since Madden 08. Madden 08, I met him. One of the first, honestly, Vilma's probably the first person from internet gaming that I have met in real life. Um, this is like Madden when I, we were like 19 and 18 and this was definitely Madden 08, Madden 09. And, um, so I, me and Vilma go back over 10 years playing Madden, right? So, uh, we would always play Madden. He was always good. He, we were always, you know, going back and forth and everything. And, uh, then, but he's never really embraced the mutt aspect of Madden. He's been one of those regs only guys type of, you know what I'm saying? Them type of guys, bro. Who I think are idiots, because honestly, if, if, if you're good enough at Madden to uh, be one of the best regs players, why would you not try to win a belt? That's just how I feel. I don't see why you wouldn't try to be the best at everything. I don't know. That's just me. Um, so, he would always piss me off because he would not invest, or he would not, he would not embrace the mutt lifestyle. Joe, my guy with the four months, man. But, um, so... This is what happens. Um, so this year, he got in the mud a little bit more. I told him, grind from the beginning, grind seasons, play seasons, and you know, spend a little bit of money on your team. He gets in the mud, builds his team, playing pretty good, playing really good. We play a lot offline or off stream, uh, getting ready for these club tournament games. And he's in the Jets Club Series. This is his favorite team. Boom. Who also is in the Jets Club Series, Franchise GG, Franchise, Chise and Honey, um, a, a veteran to the Madden scene, a EMB guy, uh, through and through. I, I would say this, franchise has always been like the runt of EMB. Like, they never really, like, embraced franchise, bro. They never, like, piped him up. He was never on the billboards. You know what I mean? Like, when the EMB rollout happened, yo, franchise was never, like, Part of the and franchise GG. They never brought him up, bro. He was like he was like the redheaded stepchild of EMB, right? He really was. That's just how it was, um, and how it went. Um, I'm serious, and you guys know that. That's how it happened. Um, but franchise has had a little bit of success in the MCS. It's been pretty good. Close friends with the EMB guys, which is led by Joke. Joke is pretty bright. Yeah, I don't want to say lap dog. I, I, I would I would make that more little man, but I, I but little man obviously is a lot more. He's the uh, probably the Robin to Joke's Batman of the EMB. So, but franchise, I don't know how to explain it. He's kind of like 
I, I don't know, but he's just not... He's not on the rollout. He's not on the main. Like, if they had a banner of the EMB people, he might have a little picture in the corner, like, you know, like, just cracking in the corner. That's all. Like, he's, he's, they don't pipe him up, bro. They don't pipe him up. So, yeah, he's on the practice roster, maybe. But, but it's always been a rumor that Joke has played franchises online elimination games. I asked Joke first. Joke told me no. I believe him. But it's always been a rumor. It's always been a rumor. That's all I'm saying. But I believe Joke when he told me he hasn't. But it's been a rumor. I don't know if you guys believe it. I don't know if he would do it. But it's been a rumor. That's all I'm saying. So, this is how Club Series goes. Vilma does good. Vilma, boom, all the way to the last game. He plays franchise to get to the winner's game. Like the winner's bracket. To win the winner's bracket. Now, th- this is this was, the, uh, let me see, I'll bring this up for you guys. This was Franchise's offense. Not only, and Franchise, if you guys haven't have been living under a rock in this podcast or in the Madden community or anything like that, um, the thing about, whatchamacallit, Franchise was, Franchise was the one that cheated his way into the tournament. Well, then cheat. I don't think he cheated is the right word. Whoa. I don't think cheating is the right word, but he was disconnect glitching. I got, but, you know, I think he would have made the tournament anyway. But he was. He was the number one person to start the whole disconnection glitch. Scum. Uh, and then bragged about 25-0 and 0 and everything. But, and I'll tell you guys this, is that this is the offense that he then brought to the tournament. This is the offense uh, that he was running. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I did post it. Vilma posted it after the one, after he lost. He lost to Vilma the first game. And this was the offense that they were running. That I don't know if, if all AMB it was just it was just um franchise. But let's take a look at this, man. And uh like I said, this is it. This is just like a quarterback draw. Instant just get the ball, nobody reacts, and he runs around the side. This was literally his whole offense was run this play. Right? This is the offense he brought. I don't know if you guys saw that. This was the offense he brought to the tournament. This one. Right? So this is what Vilma played against to get to the winner's bracket. To, and Vilma won this game. Right? This was a, uh, like I said, was this was his whole offense doing that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just franchise. I would assume it's just franchise. Um, and so after this game, Vilma plays and, and, and Vilma says, you know what? Yo, that this is this is crazy, bro. This is crazy, like, 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 uh, what I was gonna say, I, this should be illegal, right? If you saw this, I mean, I feel like you would be like, that's illegal. So, after the game, no, actually, I think then they play, so Vilma gets to the winner's bracket, he's the winner, right? Franchise gets all the way through the loser's bracket, and now Franchise has to beat Vilma twice. Um, they play the first game, and Franchise wins the first game. So now it's a win and get in between Franchise and Vilma. Boom. So I don't know when between the first game and the next game, then they banned this run. They banned this. They banned it. I don't know how it happened. Day Fry, 15 months. There he is. They banned that run. Now, I don't know when they did it. Uh, yes. So... <laughs> I don't know when they've been. Now, I'll be honest. But a lot of people say, "Oh, that's that's Madden. That's part of Madden. You gotta you gotta learn to adjust, and you gotta you know the the lab work for that." Like, bro, that that shit's like I like I that that I don't know how I feel about that. That play is pretty stupid. I don't know. But so after the first game, now we got one game. Win and get in game seven. Vilma versus franchise. Somewhere in between that, that run was banned. So Franchise's whole offense is in shambles, right? This is when? Sunday? I believe is when they played. Yeah, they played Sunday because everything got delayed. They played the first game Sunday. It got banned. Now, obviously, Joke, friend of Franchise, is going to be on the Franchise side. Don't ban it. Learn how to play. How do you ban stuff the first play? Vilma, you suck. Blah, blah, blah. Just talking shit back and forth. Literally, joke. It joke like lives in this this Madden Discord. Like, there's a disc. We have a Discord, right? When you get into these events, you get a Discord invite. Now I'll show you this. this like, I'll show you the. Yeah, that that's just that's just. I, I don't know what that is. So I don't know how 
you could be a fan of Madden and then turn around and, and turn around and say, you know, that you know that's good for the game or whatever. Like, there's something good about that. I don't think there's anything good about that. As we had, this is the Discord to get it. By the way, background is a W today. Background is a bridge. It's fall time. Fall is the best season to me. You know? So, this is the Discord that we get, right? This is the Discord. I mean, this is the Discord that we get. You know? So, this is the Discord. Boom. Oh, this is Problems Discord. Hold on, wait. Madden League Ops Discord. You have the brackets here. This guy, Exceptions, whoever the fuck Exceptions is, sounds like some Call of Duty shit. I don't know. But he. I, this is like the leader of the Discord, Exceptions. And you have these chat rooms and you have voice channels if you need to talk to people. I think Chow and stuff like that in there. Joke, 1 million percent is a Karen. 1 million percent. So then you have general chat. This is normally where things go down, general chat. And this is where Joke like lives and pretty much was arguing with Vilma about said glitch run it should be allowed and blah 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 and all this stuff Vilma sucks blah 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 all, all those type of things and in the process of this mind you in two days Vilma has been trying to play this game now this goes back to our whole theory that you know joke uh sometimes franchise gets joke to play his game so now after franchises run gets banned franchise is ducking this game that should have been played on sunday now we're getting to monday it doesn't play i woke up early yesterday when i say early i mean like noon played vilma and madden got them ready for these games and franchise was nowhere to be found so naturally if you're vilma you're thinking man he's waiting for joke to play the game <laughs> like that, that's what you're thinking right so then at the end of the day, um, it came down that what happened was in this chat room during these arguments and why aren't we playing? Can somebody come play, bro? Um, Vilma did call joke the F word in the chat. And essentially that is what Vilma got banned for. So at the end of the day, you can't say the F word in 2020. Doesn't matter if you're talking to joke. Doesn't matter if you're talking to franchise. Doesn't really matter what you're doing, man. The F word, it will get you out of here. For real. But, honestly... Um, I just think the whole... Yeah. Just like... You know, I don't know. So that's what happens. Uh, and so that's why he got banned and got... Yes, he got baited. Vilma 1 million percent got baited by joke in the chat. That is 1 million percent happened, bro. That is what happened. That is mil a million percent what happened. Joke baited Vilma into anger getting mad and calling him the F word. That's what happened. Then he got booted. That is 1 million percent why he got banned. Because he said he called joke the F word. And then everybody, including joke, said that's a hate word and it's TOS. Ban him. That's what happened in the chat, literally. Yeah. Noma is stupid. That's pretty stupid. That's what, that, that's what happened. That's one million percent what fucking happened. <laughs> it's like, bro, like... At the end of the day, bro, dudes, listen, dudes will find any way to, no. My man Vert, 28 months, Live City, 9 months, let's go, man. Yeah, Vilma definitely, Vilma definitely, Vilma definitely laid, just, yeah, that's all it was. But at the end of the day, if, if Vilma just doesn't say the F word, he's still in there, honestly. For real, for real. But he said it, so you can't, I mean, you can't really defend it, but it was the bait and switch. And at the end of the day, it's not like Joke started saying, all right, I'm going to get him to say the F word. It, it just worked. It just, he just did. It wasn't like it was Joke's goal, but. King Jack, man. Let's go, man. Two months. Thanks, buddy. Small males are witty. It was in the Discord chat, like the general, the typing chat. It was literally typed out, so it was GG's.
Bro, I read the whole I read the whole transcript. I read the whole transcript, bro. Yeah, I mean. I read the whole transcript. All Joke did was sit there and troll him to death, bro. Joke just trolled him to death. When at the end of the day, it had nothing to do with Joke. Man, nothing, nothing to Joke. You can't bait somebody. I just literally just said that. It had nothing to do with Joke. Joke might be Tyrion Lannister. But at the end of the day... No, bro. Like... It's just a crumb move, bro. Like, at the end, bro, the game had nothing to do with joke. Like, nothing. Like, why is he even in the conversation? Put it that way. That's on. Like, why is he in the conversation? Put it that way. Why is he in the Discord? He don't play till fucking Thursday, right? Why is he in the Discord? That, that That's my fucking, that's my first question. That's it. Oh, yeah, Velma's a dickhead. No, nah, Velma's a dickhead for what he did. But that's my question. Why are you in the Discord, bro? Everyone's in the Discord. No, bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> Everyone's in the Discord. What the fuck? <laughs> Y'all don't got cable? He didn't force him to say nothing, but he trolled the shit out of him. Like, dudes are just corny as fuck, bro. Just corny fucking human beings, bro. Like, what the hell? I should have been in the Discord, you right? I should I should have fucking notifications in the Discord, bro. Every time Vilma types in the Discord, I should have a notification that pops up. Fuck is my life, though. Like, what am I doing? Jesus Christ. Can't trust small males, bro. Can't trust small males. This shit's just corny. It's just corny, bro. Well, he cheated two games. He cheated two games. With that, I guess he cheated all these. I guess he, yo, he ran that run was his whole offense versus everybody. Nobody likes Karens. Vilma, bro, Vilma hit him up and Fran, they never hit him up. And and, and problem, you know how you know how it works, bro. Okay, damn, franchise must be stalling because one, his whole offense got banned, so he's gonna stall as long as possible. That's just what that's literally what's gonna happen, like for real. Because anybody would do that. Damn, my whole offense got bombed. My whole offense is out the game, bro. Dude, and all these motherfuckers... Yeah, 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 it's fucking weird. Dudes, is just fucking weird. Well, the squad is fucking weird for that shit. For this whole shit, the whole squad is fucking weird. They banned this shit yesterday. The word came out yesterday. Yesterday, when I woke up and I said, Vilma, let's find out how to stop this stupid-ass run, he said the shit is banned. Yesterday, at noon. Yesterday. And yet they couldn't play, and I kept. T and, and mind you, I'm streaming, so I keep texting Vilma like, "Yo, when you gonna play? When you gonna play?" Then here go the craziest part. I text joke on like Sunday. I say, "Bro, if they got if, if franchise going to Discord stream, which he probably is," I say, "Yo, I would like to watch this shit, right? Cause y'all be Discord streaming for your homies." Now, Vilma don't have these capabilities. He don't got no PC or no shit. So I reach out to my friends and be like, "Yo, can I watch in y'all shit?" Cause I want to watch my friend play. It's, bro, I he ain't text me back on that shit. And I, I got I got left on fucking red. So that made me seem shit's kind of fishy. <laughs> Why can't I join the stream? Are we coaching my man that fucking crazy that I can't sit on there? I can't sit I can't sit in there with with squad and watch the game. Are y'all holding that man's nuts that fucking crazy that I can't watch my friend play? That's all. 
And I, as me, as a man that loses, wins, all this shit, I, I never think that 10 people would be in a Discord teaching a motherfucker how to play during his game. I think that's fucking insane. I think it's insane. I never think somebody would do that. I never think. But I got left on red. I reached out. Yo, can I, can I, join, can I join the stream to watch? I reached out. I ain't, I ain't hear shit. Bro, oh, man. Need a lot of things, bro. You <laughs> be a disgrace to men. I'm honestly mad that I got left on red for that. Like, I literally text Joke. Now, I text Joke off. I text a lot of, uh, pretty much every man player often about a bunch of different shit. About life shit, about men shit, about everything. But I got left on red when I wanted to join the Discord, bro. Vilma 1 million percent should be banned, I guess. I mean, you got to keep that. Yeah, the, we're not, we are not. Questioning the ban, bro. At the end of the day, bro, you just can't. What I what I can't stay motherfuckers. <laughs> Cause somebody ran somebody ran and told that, bro. I, I don't give a no, somebody said, look, 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 look what he called me. Yo, I swear to God. And if you guys think they didn't, bro, y'all are fucking all oh, y'all are lost. Look, 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 the F word, look, 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 get him out of here. <laughs> Yo, I swear to God. Look. Oh, yeah, he in the chat watching everything. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, y'all fraud. Because I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I, listen, if I was playing somebody and they called me the F word, I would point it out too. I'm being honest. Motherfuckers can't be real. That's the fucking problem with you cocksuckers, bro. Can't nobody be real. Yes, I would snitch. Now these motherfuckers. No, nah, man. No, nah, it wasn't me. He saw it. No. Nah. <laughs> the fuck? Can't nobody be real. Can't nobody be real, dude. Can't nobody be real. Y'all are just crumbs, bro. Y'all always been crumbs. Let's give it up. Y'all all fucking crumbs. Y'all always been crumbs. That's it, bro. That's it. Those fucking crumbs, bro. Anything. Anything fucking possible. Any fucking angle you can take to fucking scam and squeeze and get a na 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 Fucking rats. Any fucking thing, dude. God damn, bro. Any fucking angle. Just how it works, man. It's what it is, man. Those the motherfuckers like that be winning. That's all. They don't got no morals. That shit just like. <laughs> I'm ain't wrong, bro. It is what it is, man. I'm just still mad I got left on red with my text message. I'm still mad about that, bro. Y'all do you all right, all right, Boogie. Let's let's be real though. Half of the chat does report messages in here, bro. Yeah, why didn't you put a big easy sign in the chat? I mean, pride, bro. <laughs> no, you was out of line, bro. No, you was out of line, bro. <laughs> you was out of line. That, no, that day, pride was out of line, bro. No, nah, he was out of line, bro. <laughs> yo, motherfuckers, yo, motherfuckers that say, y'all be saying pride can't run a 40, y'all don't know. Nah. 
That motherfucker Pride, bro. Nah, bro. Pride low key like Sue. He like in Domicon. You know when Sue was in his prime, bro? That's that's Pride, bro. Nah, ain't no story. Nah, ain't no time for that. That's a problem story, bro. That motherfucker Pride turned to Indomitian Sue real quick. You be seeing him chill on stream like this? Nah, bro. Nah. Lion Sue. No, nah, nah, it ain't even. It's like Nebraska Sue. It's Nebraska Sue. You know Nebraska Sue who was like the first? Bro, Nebraska Sue was different. Bro. <laughs> Larry Allen, bro. I ain't never seen a motherfucker move that fast. Bro, KD. KD, man. You my friend, bro. I don't want you to go through that, bro. No, prob you probably... No, you had to get... If he was angry, that'd be one thing, bro, KD. If he wasn't angry, KD, I like you, bro. Bro, y'all can ask Prob during his stream if he yoked somebody up. I, I can't tell them these stories, bro. But I will just say, from my... From me... I probably was a little out of line. That's all, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. That, that's all I'm gonna say. He was he was out of line, bro. <laughs> nah, y'all was out of line. No, 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 Y'all some cheating motherfuckers. And that's, like, I'll be real. Prob and them, they, they pretty much, they not as bad as EMB, but they right there, bro. All right, broken tired, relax, bro. See, you don't say the word pussy. You don't say that, bro. That's what get people choked up. Yo, you don't call people pussies, and you don't do that, bro. That's just, that's just wild. Yeah, you wrong, bro. All right, bro. I'm, I'm, I gotta tell the story now because they think I'm they think I'm tripping. This what happened. Madden. I swear I told this story before. Madden seventeen, bro. Kid vs. Vault. One of the best games. I think I still told the story when I showed this game on the podcast. This is one of the best games. This is one of the best games in MCS history because it was Vault when he was swerving versus. Uh, Volt when he was swerving versus um Kiv when he was tough. Madden 17. Madden Challenge. Group play. This is how it worked, right? This was back when only two people made it out of groups. And the point differential was such a big deal, right? <laughs> Be uh Volt was playing Kiv. Volt was beating the shit out of Kiv, but Kiv was beating the shit out. Like, they were going back and forth, but Volt was swerving his dick off. Like, bro, it was bad. It was, it was vroom, 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 Volt, vroom, vroom, and, 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 and Kiv didn't know what to do. Kiv was lost, bro. But, but Kiv could have made, could, he could have made it out. He just couldn't lose. Now, on, on everything I love, here go. Kim's sitting right here. TV's here, right? Problem, true boy, everybody that was there literally telling this motherfucker. Kim is like this, looking to the left. And they're telling him like, literally the whole squad, like right next to the stage. The whole squad, which they should, which anybody would do. So Kiv has this army of guys telling him to score. And that's just part of being in a crew and having friends. It's just part of it, right? So here goes Volt. Doesn't have friends. Volt is just swerving the shit out of Kiv and putting on a show. One of the best games ever. Great game. So the whole room sees the top man squad telling Kiv all the score and everything. Like literally, you see this motherfucker Kiv talking to his friends. Talking to him. So here go Beast Mode. Mr. Beast Mode. Good guy. Kansas City, Midwest. Good heart. This is a good man. You know? He says, you know what? I feel bad for Volt. Volt is up there struggling. He's he has no he has no support system. There's this whole group of fucking players telling Kiv to score, and Volt is just up there balling. So here goes Kansas City. Kansas City says, you know what? I'm gonna saw I'm gonna help this poor fella. So Kansas City runs up on the stage. No lie. Here's the stage. 
and the stage has like fake astral turf on it. The stage, he goes like this, runs up on right stage right here. Beast mode not that tall. He an EMB guy. He he might be five eight. Right here, on the stage, take his hand. He go like this, boom boom boom, three points, three points, three points. And and Volt was like, now Prob, the leader of the squad, was mad about this. You don't do this shit. So that's when problem. You know what I'm saying? The goat turned into a Damakang Su. Ran over and and put the beast mode in the Cobra Clutch in the middle of the door. Have you all watched The Simpsons? The Simpsons, when Bart gets choked, when Homer chokes Bart, he's like, ah! That's how it was in the middle of the room. But mind you, nobody was there because it was really just the players and the film guys. And at the time... We were all like, bro, what happens here? We not really gonna tell nobody this shit. We just about like, damn. And beast mode. I honestly don't know what happened, how it stopped it. Like, I don't know how beast mode. Like, I think probably just stopped because nobody did shit. It's not like all the fucking five foot eight EMB dudes jumped on his back. I really, bro. They was telling this motherfucker to score. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna get me on that. I don't know what, I guess he let go, bro. I guess problem was like, all right. I guess problem saw his eyeballs about to pop and, and probably let go and then that's it. And Beast Mode just sat there. And honestly, if I was Beast Mode, I probably would have just sat there too. They were telling that motherfucker to score. It was a whole flock of them. I think B was there too. I, I think B was there. I think EJ was there. Franchise, there he is. The God. The cheating bastard. Yes, the whole squad. I think EJ. I, I don't. EJ might have not been walking, or maybe I don't even know if. He, yeah, I think he was here. I think he was born. No, I don't think EJ might have not even been born. I don't remember, but B was there. I think yo. I think Prob jumped over like a whole row of chairs, bro. Yo, I think he jumped over a whole. I swear to God, like I'm like. Do y'all ever like watch the combine when the big dudes do like the fucking cone drill and shit? I think he cleared a whole row of chairs, bro. That shit, bro. Nah. Nah, bro. He and Damacon sued that shit. Motherfuckers was just like, we was in the joint like. <laughs> Cause beast mode, I mean, he's a good guy, but I ain't gonna help him. I mean <laughs> shit. I mean, if it was bugs, I might have been uh, damn bugs. <laughs> you shouldn't have been cheating. <laughs> That's <laughs> I mean, bro. For real. I was like, uh, damn. What did be Beast Mode? No, that was the end. And honestly, that might have been the end of Beast. I don't know what. I, bro. Beast Mode, I, bro. I don't know if he's recovered from that day. That was about three, four years ago. It's rough. But my, ain't nobody do shit. <laughs> bro. Probably ready for the read. Beast Mode been on the jiu-jitsu? Nah. I think did Beast Mode did win that event. Nah, I, was it the classic? Oh damn! No, he won. Damn. See, he gave him the power. That might have been the end of problem. Really? That might have been yo. Problem might have passed his like his like powers to Beast Mode. Cause since then, Beast Mode might be over problem. Since that, since the choke. Might have been a Space Jam type of situation. I don't know. Could have backfired on the GOAT. He hasn't got lucky. <laughs> no, he got lucky for his joke. When he had the back-to-back -back kick returns. <laughs> and he said, some people built, some people not. <laughs> Oh, this is funny, bro. Oh, this is funny times. Funny times, man. Remember when we were all allowed at the events, bro? Remember when we were all allowed at the events, bro? We would have fun. Better days, man. 
I can't wait to lie. Because I can't lie. I these little TNC mother... Listen, you know Allen and Wesley and... Uh, yo, they're not on my headlock list. Bro, all these TNC fuckers are on the headlock list. All of them. Maybe not... I, I even seen Fancy throwing shots. Bro, Allen is like a cool kid now. Bro, I was in Trace chat while he was playing Blocky. I'm like, hold the fuck up. Y'all barely know this motherfucker, Blocky. I don't even know if y'all ever met him. Bro! Like, and they're rooting for Blocky like it's their fucking cousin. Short guy Tony with the five. Bro, like it's their fucking cousin. And a year ago, some other squad was rooting for Blocky. Like, I never see, bro, like, I've never seen Blocky just be fucking chilling, popping on Madden. Blocky, bro, he is the most chill undercut on down low just and be popping right somehow he in a different squad every year and the squad roots for this motherfucker like he's their simba like he is their golden boy like next year shit i'm gonna hit blocky up in the all season like bro listen you want to be part of so he might be on my squad next year and then i can root for him no it listen I mean, I honestly, I don't even think Blackie gives a shit what squad he's in, bro. I don't, I don't think he even knows. I really don't think he knows. He really just plays Madden. Yes, he just plays Madden and pops, bro. He don't even know, bro. Yes, he don't know what squad he's in. But these TNC kids were rooting for this motherfucker like he was Jesus. Like, bro, he he was the best. I, either they love Baki or they really just don't like Trey. And honestly, I'm kind of on the same fence. I like Baki a little bit more than I like Trey, honestly. I'm being real. I don't, I don't really know. But they were like, bro. It was like it was it, it was like it was their brother playing. Bro, I've never seen a squad this fucking hype, bro. Holy shit. I'm like, yo, calm the fuck down. Like y'all have never played y'all have bro. Yeah, they wanted that motherfucker to lose. I'm like, damn. Uh, people hate Trey, I guess. I, I listen, understandable. Trey's a hateable, cause Trey like Cause Trey's another dude that Trey has this persona like he's fucking done anything. Like TNC and Trey, they most of them have like the same resume, honestly. Hon they both have the same resume. Outside of D Croft, honestly. Trey is the black 49er? No. Bro, that shit was crazy, man. And I'm looking like. Like, bro, y'all hype as shit. And I'm like, bro, and you know what I said to myself? Should I be arguing in this chat? Should I be arguing? I'm like, bro, I need to wait the real life to argue with you fuck boys. I need to wait the real life. My fingers, my mouth works faster than my fingers. Pause. But I don't want to be typing in a chat. I want to argue in real life. That was way plausible. <laughs> I don't want to be typing in the chat, bro. That was crazy. You know, it was it was wild. It was wild. <laughs> Ain't nobody say that. Relax. Relax, man. But that... So at the end of the day, Vilma said the F word. And I will tell you what, F word is like the worst word you can say now. It's the worst word. It, I, I'm telling you. So, that's why Vilma got banned. So, Franchise lives to fight another day. He's still alive. His offense is banned. Fourth and goal defense, yes. No, bro. And, and... That's just how it works. Bro, I don't know, bro. I don't know if we'll ever have a live event again, bro. I just want another like dream hack, bro. Blocky is a great guy. And like I said, if listen, if you were like, who do you want to go to lunch with? Trey or Blocky? 
I'm be honest. I'm going with Blocky. We could chill. Don't gotta talk a lot. Might talk about the weather a little bit, you know. Eat lunch. Trey wouldn't shut the fuck up. I'll be honest. I'd probably go to the club with Blocky. Bro, I used to play Blocky. Like, and honestly, this is probably why I suck now. Cause I used to play like Drinny and Block. All these, but I used to play. I used to play Blocky for like five hours, like mad and straight on the mic. And literally, I, I don't even know why we had the mic on. We had the mic on for no reason. You ever feel like you're talking to yourself? That's how it was when when I was playing Blocky, bro. Swear to God. Swear to God. And this was back when, like, before, um. Like, I had Discord or anything, so I was still, like, plugged up to the controller with the headset. And you, I would just sit there playing. I'd be like, damn, good defense. Damn. Oh, what was that? What was that guy in? Like, you ever was like, yo, what defense was that? Yo, what, what zone was that? Motherfucker, don't answer. Bro, he don't, he don't answer. He, he, yo, he's, yo, Blocky was the guy you had to keep checking the party chat to see if he was still in that shit. Because, you know... Because you know, like, some of your friends in the Xbox party chat, some would leave without telling you, and they just leave, and you'd be talking to yourself. Blocky is the guy you have to keep hitting the middle button and scroll down, but, oh, he's still in here? All right, bet. Yeah, oh, he's still here. Then the worst part, when he did talk, yo, you couldn't move, because if you made another noise, you couldn't hear him. So, like, when you're playing and shit, when you ask a question, you gotta freeze. You gotta be like... You can't breathe while he's talking. If you breathe while he's talking, you ain't hear it. You ain't hear it, bro. You ain't hear it. You had to go like this. There you go, Blocky. Let it like this. <laughs> yo, yo, Blocky, man. You want to play another? <gasps> All right, good. I'm about to sin. Swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. I could not breathe. So I understand... Why y'all want him to be Trey? I understand, bro. Because Trey's the opposite. Trey, Trey is the complete opposite where you like, you become the person that's doing some shit. Like, you're the opposite. Or, yeah, you do the opposite. Like, you start breathing hard or some shit so you can't hear him. Or you like, like, you know how you be like this? Like, how when I be streaming, like, I put my, my headphones down. When Trey on the mic, sometimes I be like. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. <laughs> it's the opposite, bro. My boy Trey be like, yo, yo, I think I'm going to try a tough nut on my center. He's really getting popped. You think that's a good idea? Yo. You know what, if I put out my way on a safety and I put him at the end, you think he'll stop the run? Yo, you know what, I'm over. I'm over Gunslinger today. You know what, I might go back to escape. Matter of fact, I don't need no ability on my quarterback. It's kind of overrated. Matter of fact, you know what, I I think I'm going to run a little more eye form. Like, bro, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yo. Damn. No, he's not the black 49er. 49er intellectually is light years ahead of Trey. Trey is about as smart as, as a rock. Like, I don't think Trey wins the spelling bee versus anybody. I don't think Trey beats anybody in the spelling bee. Earl, Earl Frock. Yeah, Lou. Yeah, Trey, Trey and Lou would be a, a dog fight in the spelling bee, man. Allen is bad at spelling. Yeah, I feel like Allen. Crush, I feel like Allen is the type that ain't give a fuck about school, bro. I feel like Allen is the type that was stealing shit out of the teacher's desk and shit, bro. I feel like But Allen is off my headlock list, bro. Grenade, <laughs> Grenitty.
Bro, syrup, Jesus. Headlock list for TNC. I think all of them, bro. I honestly don't think... I don't think any of them are off the team. D. Croft, his big ass might get put in a headlock. I'll be honest. I, I might have to put D. Croft big ass in a headlock. You just want to see khakis and a, and a big red ass face. J. Walls, bro. I don't think J. Walls ever left the headlock list, bro. But I feel like I feel like TNC. If you put J. If you put J. Wall in the headlock, the rest of them will just like be like, "No, nah, I'm good." No, nah, I can't headlock Salty. Salty is like the boy you put the arm on and he can't reach you. Like, you know what I'm saying? You give him a stiff arm on his head and he, like, can't reach you or some shit. Salty too cool, bro. Salty's, bro, Salty always been a wild-ass young boy, bro. He always been a wild-ass. Like, I swear to God, when he was, like, I remember back in the Philly tournaments when he was, like, 15 or, like, he was, like, 13. He's like, Adabi! I played today. I'm like, who the fuck are you? Who let their kid in here? I swear to God. Like, the first time I met Salty, bro, I was like, who the fuck let their kid in here? Like, I really thought he was just there. It was somebody's kid. I swear to God. I swear to God. That's how his voice was, man. Oh. Bobby, I watch your streams. Yeah, I'm really getting ready this year. I swear, fucking little ass kid. Like, and I promise he came to the he came to the tournament in his baseball jersey. Like he just came from Little League. I swear to God, I thought it was like one of the Nerd Street's kids. Swear to oh! Yeah, I'm gonna use the Eagles Carson Wentz. He can run. And Zach Ertz, I'd like to throw the ball to him short. I like to hit the, the short pass to him. I swear to God. I'm like, bro, you play? He's like, yeah, yeah. I play man, I'm trying to get better. Go Eagles! Now he's a little bit different. He's a little bit older now. This was like four years ago. And then Vilma comes up to me after that tournament. I'm like, yo, what happened? He's like, I lost it. He said, I lost to the little kid. I'm like, who the fuck is the little kid? The little kid. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about, the little kid? The salt kid. I'm like, who the fuck is... He said, the little kid! I said, the little fucker, you lost to the little kid? Now, here I am. Now, I'm losing to the little kid. The little kid is slowly taking out all of us. The little kid. He's hell. No, Lou does not participate in any, uh, in any, oh, he does not participate, Lou does not participate in any other productions on this show. But YouTube, this was the Need a Podcast episode 104. Um, like I said, Vilma got banned for the F word. Um, I do want to watch some games, but I don't want to record them for YouTube. Because it's going to take too long. My video is going to be four fucking hours. Uh, I can't wait to play Mutt, bro. Can't wait. I can't wait to open my weekend league rewards for no money spent. But this was episode 104. Next week, we're going to talk more about Club Series. We'll probably do the matchups for Club Series. But I want to talk about this whole fucking everybody still fucking bitching. I, I want to play Madden and I want to compete. But I don't want to play the game or spend money. That's I, I want to show up and play. I, everybody fucking bitching, 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 bitching. Mommy, bitching, 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 bitching. Like, bro, everybody, bro. It's pissing me off, bro. Like I said, man, it, if you if you don't have enough money to play Madden or you don't have enough time to play Madden, so you're literally broke and you have no free time. So if you're broke with no free time, what the fuck do you do all day? Holy shit. I mean, I'm at like 5K, but you know. I don't know. I don't know where 2K. I wish I was at 2K. KD, you save lives in the hospital. God bless, bro. And 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 KD, and listen, you be in the hospital, right? And you probably put a lot of effort into that, right? You are at the top of the profession, or you're somewhere in the profession, bro. And for me, and it's kind of almost like Madden is a profession, bro. Like it, it really is. And it's almost like, man, I want to, I want to have KD's job, but you know what? I don't want to invest any time or anything. I want his job, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't really want to work for it. 
I don't really want to put time into it. I just want to be able to be there. Madden, Madden ain't a profession. All right, that's the end of the podcast. That's the end of the podcast. You're right. It's not. Listen, listen. Madden is not a profession, bro. It's not. So why do y'all expect it to pay y'all money? How can y'all say it's not a profession, then be mad that it don't pay y'all money? Like what? Like, I just don't understand, bro. Yes, you're right. And you wouldn't have to spend $2,000 if you played for fucking 10 hours a day. That's all I'm saying. If you played for 10 hours a day, you wouldn't have to spend $2,000. That's all I'm saying. But me, and, and this is how I feel. This is how I feel about Madden. This is how I feel about anything. I am at the point of my life where the time is more valuable than the money to me. Now, I don't know if you guys are there. Maybe I'm old. Uh, maybe, I, you know, I don't know. I think my time is more valuable than my money right now. I just feel that way. So for me, I would rather pay than, than buy the money, bro. That, or, or, uh, or spend that much time. So when people say, when people say esports are free, bro, these mother, I watch Apex. I'm gonna be real. I'm like, I'm an undercover Apex. Like I watch this shit all the time. Whether you like it or not, that doesn't matter. But I watch, I watch esports. I watch Call of Duty. I watch this Valorant shit. I watch every every shooting game there is. That's a big esport. Counter Strike. I'm really not into it. I watch. Obviously, I watch uh, Nick Merckx. Everybody play Call of Duty. Yo, these dudes play these games all the fucking time. They spend so much damn time playing these games, bro. So it is their life. These dudes that compete at the highest level, it is their life. It is not a fucking hobby that y'all think Madden should be a fucking hobby. It's not. There is no eSport player that takes their eSport as a hobby. It just doesn't work. That just hasn't worked. Yeah. Yeah. And Matt, exactly, Fierce. Madden is not that popular for it to be paying out buku bucks. I don't know, dude. The listen. Yes, DC used to be the first event. Or Skimbo, we could have a Rags leaderboard similar to the DC leaderboard that gives rewards, but with regular teams. Now this year sucks because there's literally not another tournament. You have there's no Madden Classic. Uh, I, I think there's a Madden Challenge, but there's no Madden Classic in the beginning of the year. You know? Madden isn't popular because people don't want to see dudes use it rushing. I'm going to be honest. Madden isn't popular because it's only in fucking America. It has a small demographic. And at the end of the day, it's a little bit tough to play. Madden has no pickup and play value for anybody. Doesn't. Yes. Only America. There's no... All right. Yeah, you're right. Man's in Germany, bro. All right, but I'm done. I don't... We will talk about this more next week, bro. And I'll talk about it off once I turn the podcast off. But, bro, you got... I... I Listen, man. The the top of esports in every esport is a job. Listen. Esports is a job. Do you th- like, it, it is a 100% commitment. If you want to be the best at something, whether it be Call of Duty, Madden, uh, Rocket League, um, whatever, World of Warcraft, it's a commitment of your life. It is. I'm sorry. It is. Yes. And if you don't see esports as a job, you won't make it. i am be honest. You won't, you won't make it. You won't be successful. For real. And, uh, you know, and jobs require... Commitment, whether that be time or whether that be money. All right, we're going to get into some games now. But like I said, this is the podcast 104, man. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Be here Tuesdays at 8 o'clock. We're going to talk more about this next week, man.